Hello everybody, God bless y'all. It is 424, August 29th. Um, this AC helps blow my beard every which way, a little bit here. It's a pretty good AC. Anyhow, you guys, I wanted to go over some things with you guys. I, I like when I see people, you know, encouraging like they should be, but I really like it when I see people um, warning people, you know, in these last days. It says, you know, when these, when you see the sword coming and you warn not the people. And I've noticed how somebody will come on my channel and they want to encourage, like saying, uh, you know, how big the word is, is spreading all over the world and um, how big the Bible is. But yet they're not talking about how in the last days, how deception has happened. They're not mentioning these things, nor is the church. They're asleep, okay? Um, I'm going to show you right here, Ram. We're going to get right into it. These are the days that they told you to be careful of. And this is what I've noticed, you guys. I pay very close attention to people when they're, uh, you know, they're, they're just doing what they're doing is they're trying to pull you back in to telling you what you want to hear rather than telling you, you know, man, scripture is accurate. It's telling you precisely. See, there are a lot of people all around the world that have the written word of God right now. They have it. And the problem is a lot of them have been reading other people's books. Um, what's your favorite verse? You know, and we'll, we'll, we'll find something to really get you going. <coughs> Anyhow, in, uh, Thessalonians, you guys. This is where I'm gonna go in, in uh, Second Thessalonians, chapter two, about not being deceived, you guys. This is when I see people making comments, and they're not, uh, they're not commenting on the deceptions. And you got these guys, you know, coming on YouTube. They got uh, almost a million people following them on uh, YouTube. And I'm, I'm noticing that none of these people at any time are warning you about the scriptures, about the last end days, the deceptions and stuff. They're basically telling people how, you know, how good everything is, but they're not warning you like when you get into the last days where it warns you. This is where I could talk to people that's been in church for 30, 40 years, and they won't know anything about this. And then when you get into scriptures, it'll also tell you in Revelation chapter 2, verses 10 and 11, it says, To all the churches. And what is the message? Be faithful unto death. Okay, read Matthew's uh, 22, the wedding. They were invited to come, but they were all busy. They went about their merchandise. They just got married. They had all kinds of things. And it says in the last days, I'll be eating, marrying, and drinking. Guys, since I've been here, I've seen a lot of weddings. A lot of weddings. That's how close I think we are. Also remember, Israel, this place is the timepiece. It's the timepiece where we're going to see. Because remember, God said he'll put a hook in their jaw and pull them around here to this place okay people ain't gonna rush up on this place and destroy it it ain't gonna happen the word of god clearly says it jesus is gonna pull them around it he's gonna make them come you look at what's out here man this is a little place a little speck out in the middle of nowhere but yet the whole world has their eye on it god's gonna pull them all around here man and, and the word of god is gonna be fulfilled but the thing that I want to say is, you guys, people are not, um, they're not warning anybody about these things, and they should be, all right? We beseech you, brothers, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him. You notice we're gathering together right now, okay, because we know the time. 
the Lord's opened our eyes to see. Okay, and a lot of these people when they're talking, they're not even talking about that. That we've been predestined, chosen in this time that we're in right now. They don't even acknowledge that. And uh, I watch these things and I see, are you acknowledging the Lord at work right now? Those that have been predestined and chosen. A lot of them aren't doing that. That you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perditions. You guys, I've been shown three times Obama. Three times I've been shown Obama. My last dream with Obama, I think after Trump is gone, um, Obama comes back and then uh, in my dream my third dream with Obama he he looked at the people the staff that were working for him and he said I'm tired of people talking about me and they all said yes sir and I believe that's when the persecution is going to begin with the churches you know when they come after him and they're probably going to start talking more than they are now you know. Okay. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he is God sitting in the temple of God. Now remember this guys, our body is the temple of God. A lot of people want to forget this all the time. They keep thinking of building and refer to your scriptures. Huh? I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> okay. See, now I'm parked like in a in a spot where they do allow you to park, but only about four cars. Actually, there's only supposed to be three. But since I parked here, they've moved the sign back further and they squoze on another one. You know, they're not they weren't supposed to do it, but they did it. Now, if I would have done that, they would have hunted me down, probably. Anyhow. Guys, a lot of people keep forgetting this. Our body is the temple of God. Remember when Jesus said, destroy this temple, and I will raise it in three days. This is something people keep overlooking and overlooking and overlooking and overlooking. They just keep wanting to overlook this and keep wanting to think carnally. Cardinally, you want to think of a building being built, okay? Oh, that's the temple. Listen, Jesus even said it. Destroy this temple in three days, I'll raise it. Okay? Um, why is it that people want to keep forgetting this? I don't understand it. They keep wanting to go back thinking that way. All right. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worship? So that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember it says, test all spirits. These are spirits, man, that are hosting, that are in a lot of these people right now. They're driving. They're in these people. These people that are living on the top of it all here, they sold their souls to the devil. Some of them sold it for a lot less. You know, but these masons that are all in these groups are Washington's full of it you know people are all the nations remember the devil deceived the whole world you know and you got to remember a lot of the people in the pulpits today they got homosexuals in the pulpit you know and these people want to leave links on my channel they're not saying any of these things they're just trying to lead you pull you back in pull you back in you know like, it's, it's big, it's okay, don't worry, you know. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what we're told him, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now lit it will lit until he be taken out of the way. 
This is when rapture is going to be happening, you guys. When people are taking the lukewarm, the people that keep wanting to look for a building to be built, that don't want to believe. They should, because Jesus said perfectly that his body was the temple. And he said, destroy this temple. They should have believed it. But for some reason, they wanted to keep believing man. Every, every time man would say something, they wanted to believe it rather than what the Word tells you. The Word tells me clearly. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. By this time, you don't, know, you don't even want to be here. You want to be with Jesus on a white horse coming back with him when this happens. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe the lies believe the lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brothers, beloved of the Lord, because God has, from the beginning, chosen you to salvation. Through sanctification of the Spirit, and belief of the truth. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers, brethren, stand fast, hold the tradition which you have been taught, whether by word or epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which has loved us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work guys yeah, that's why we want to be continually uh, you know, telling people what scripture warns in these last days this is what people aren't doing they're not uh not um, warning people. They're not telling people about what how scripture warns in these last days. Unsound doctrines. Um, false teachers. You know, Jesus warned about that. You know, Matthew's uh, so I can find it real quick. Is it Matthew? They're everywhere, you guys. I mean, it's bad. It's real bad. The word is true. It's good. And a lot of people have it. it. It is. It's one of the biggest books all over the place. The problem is they've taken the pulpits over. And they've taught people unsound doctrine. These people want to leave these little messages on my channel. They're not saying that. That's the part that I don't like. That they're not warning people about the unsound doctrine in the last days. 24, 11 in Matthews. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many will wax cold. This is what's happening right now, you guys. People are waxing colder and colder. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You guys, this is it, man, where it tells you straight up. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. And 
shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall arise, and shall deceive many. You guys, they're in the pulpit, okay? This is the time that we're in right now. This is the time we're in right now. They're, they're in the pulpit. Make no mistake about it. They're in the pulpit, they're everywhere. So, it's, a, it's an infestation. But we're in that moment, we're in that time where, uh, if you are going to be ready to make it out of here, you guys, most people are, uh, Most people are not going to, uh, they're going to be deceived. Scripture says it, you know, so I guess there's not much we can do about that, is there? You know, people having itchy ears, they're going to want to do what they're going to do. Anyhow, you guys, let us be steadfast, be strong in the Lord. And, uh, we don't let anybody tickle our ears. We're predestined, chosen for this. That's why I say I see these people when they pop up on my channel, leaving little messages. There's no warning in their uh, messages. It's just, you know, pull you in, tell you what you want to hear. They're not warning you what Scripture warns about in these last days. They're not telling you that there's many false teachers and, you know, Man, they're not even telling you that people are being persecuted already around the world. Christians. They don't even talk about that. You know, there's a lot of stuff they don't talk about. That's what gets my attention. You know, when they're not warning, and I know we're in the last days. I know what's getting ready to happen. And uh, so when I hear and see these people, like I said, there's many of them out there, you guys. They'll have a form of godliness. <laughs> but the truth is, they're, uh, the truth is, you know, watch this guy, he's wanting to back up, he's got plenty of space in front of him, and he's getting, the truth is, you guys, let us be ready, okay, be bold. And uh, don't uh, don't let anybody you know take a year because that's what they're doing. Okay, God bless you guys. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.